going on there, guys? We back with another one. And we just got news that Anthony Davis has signed for the largest single salary amount in NBA history. He'll make over $62 million, which was recently set by Jalen Brown when he signed his deal with the Celtics. Check out what Woj had to say about it. Breaking news into Sports Center from the NBA, Adrian Wojnarowski reporting that Lakers forward Anthony Davis has agreed to a three-year, $186 million max extension that'll tie him to the franchise through 2028 for a total of $270 million, the richest annual contract extension in NBA history, averaging $62 million a season, that average annual value of his new deal, exceeding the previous record of nearly $61 million that sell Celtics guard Jalen Brown agreed to less than two weeks ago. The four-time All-NBA selection, the only player last season to average 25 points, 10 boards, and two blocks per game. And the man himself, Adrian Wojnarowski, is joining us now. Uh, what more can you tell us, Woj, about how this deal got done? Hey, Hannah, today was the first day that Anthony Davis was eligible for that three-year extension. And at 3.30 Eastern, Lakers GM Rob Palenka called uh, Clutch Sports' CEO, Rich Paul, made him the offer that he expected to get. The three years, $186 million extension. Rich Paul talked with Anthony Davis. They quickly agreed to that max deal, and that was it. And now Anthony Davis has the richest annual uh, contract extension in NBA history, $62 million a year. And this is a player now... Uh, as you said, Hannah, tied to the Lakers through 2028. Now, obviously, there's going to be concerns about Anthony Davis' health. They're calling Rich Paul a genius for negotiating this deal and taking it, you know, to that next level for AD to get this type of money, despite being out so often, having issues with his lower back and different things. Skip Bayless, this is what he had to say about it. He said, so now the Lakers have signed Anthony Davis for the next 256 games through 2028. When he's healthy and motivated, he's top 10. But for how many games of the 256 will he be healthy and motivated? Optimistically, 64, one-fourth. So Skip Bayless don't believe in Anthony Davis. And, you know, it's true Anthony Davis does have these lulls where he's not performing at peak level and people feel like he's overpaid. But then when he shows up and he has a stretch, um, you know, where he's dominant, it looks like, you know, he, he's worth every bit of it. And everybody is wondering, like, is AD going to, is he going to be able to play enough of the season to be impactful going forward? Because we've seen what he's done in his youth. Is he going to take that next? He's going to take that next step to make sure his body is ready and in condition to take on a grueling season. Because LeBron is approaching forty, and you know this is your franchise now. You have to lead. Because if anyone needs to be low manager at this point, it needs to be LeBron James, not you. So what is AD going to do to be able to carry a franchise on his shoulder? Yeah, he can put up stats and he, he, I mean, he could do that in New Orleans. But he needs to carry it, be the leader, extend LeBron's career. You know, um, be that young guy for LeBron to help him continue to play and you know, sit out the games he needs to sit out to be ready to go for the postseason. So that's what I would have to say to that. But let me know what you guys think about it in the comments. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Until next time, peace. <laughs>